write a java program to swap the two numbers in c and c++ language we will pass the reference of the values to the methods where we swap the two numbers for getting the result since pointers are not available in java programming we cannot perform those actions so now here is the java program for swapping two numbers so in java we can use the wrapper classes the wrapper classes are special classes which can encapsulate a value that has a primitive type for every primitive data type in java we have a wrapper class which is stored in the java.lang package for the integer data type the corresponding wrapper class is integer and also a wrapper class does not allow the data field to get altered so we have to create our own wrapper class that is given here within this class we have declared the variable x as private integer so this variable cannot be accessed outside this class so now a constructor is given here where the value of x is equal to y that is the initialization of the variable x is given here and then a method get value is defined where we return the value of x and another method insert value is defined in which the value of y is assigned to x now let us look into the program using these three methods we can swap the values of two numbers this is the method for swap and in the main method the variables i and j are initialized to some values these two numbers are the ones which we need to swap first we are wrapping the variables by using the wrapper class that we have defined and then the swap method is called for both these variables now the values are printed now let us look at the swap method within the swap method the procedure for swapping the two numbers is given here a variable t is declared which will get the value using the get value function and then the insert value function is called for the object a and likewise again the insert value function is called for the object b now this program will swap the two numbers let us check if it is correct first let us compile the program that is java c swapping dot java now the program has been compiled without any syntax errors now let us run the program java swapping the result is before swapping the values of i was 50 and j was 100 after swapping the value of i is 100 and j is 50 so the two numbers have been swapped our program is correct now let us look into the logic of the program here the variable i is initialized to the value 50 and j to the value 100 now these two variables i and j are wrapped using our wrapper class that is wrapper m is equal to new wrapper of i here an object is created for the wrapper class so this is the constructor of the class wrapper for which the variable i is passed in its argument now let us look at the wrapper class in the wrapper class the constructor is defined as follows x is equal to y so the value that was passed in the parameter of this constructor will be assigned to x now the value that was passed in the parameter of this constructor that is i whose value is 50 will be assigned to x so x will be equal to 50 and next another object is created for the wrapper class for which the variable j is passed in the argument of the constructor so now for the object n the value of j will be assigned to x that is 
n dot x will be equal to 100. And now we are swapping the values of m and n. That is the swap function is called by passing the values of i and j which were wrapped within the wrapper classes. Now let us look at the swap method. Swap of m comma n. So within the argument of this swap method, m will be passed in the place of a and n will be passed in the place of b. Now within this class, the variable t is given the value of a dot get value. In the function get value, the value of x is returned. Now for the object m, the value of x is 50. So here t will be equal to 50. In the next statement, a dot insert value of b dot get value. We know that the get value function will return the value of x. b refers to the object n. So the value of n dot x is 100. So in the place of b dot get value, the value returned will be 100. So a dot insert value of 100. Now let us look at the insert value method. Here the value of y which is passed in the argument of this method is assigned to x. Here the object referred is m. So for the object m, the value of x is assigned to 100. That is the value that is passed in the argument of this function will be assigned to the value of x of the object m. The next statement is b dot insert value of t. The insert value method will assign the value in its argument to the value of x. That is b refers to the object n. So the value of x for the object n that is n dot x will now contain the value of t which is 50. Now the function execution is over. In the main method the value of m dot get value is assigned to i that is within the get value method the value of x is returned. So we know that for the object m the value of x is 100. So the value m dot x will be assigned to i. So now i will be equal to 100 that is i will be equal to m dot x so now it is 100. In the next statement the value of j is given as n dot get value that is n dot x. So from the swap function the value of n dot x is 50. So i is equal to 100 and j is equal to 50. Now if we print the values I will take the value 100 and J will take the value 50. So now the numbers have been swapped. So this is how this program will work.